There's clown face, little wood cashmere buckling, enjoying some pellets. And we got a big dish here of more all stock pellets. And yes, there are two cashmere does in here. They're just so skittish. They're indulging also. And they have this temporary shelter here with lots of pine straw at the base. We're going to be replacing that. They're going to have a nice big dry shelter here. And they've got a lot of coastal hay right here on this pallet. And I'm putting more pine up here. They're in a 30 by 30 enclosed area with windbreaks. That's at the west end there. Look at the... Well, this is more like the north, north end here. And that's the south end, so... We got a nice windbreaker. There are piles and piles of all kinds of pine and other um, forage branches and young trees and things from the past that just recently cleaned up here and added to the uh, the growing wall there. This whole area is actually lined by slash pine. Um, in fact, there's only a couple... Of the posts in here just a couple four by fours one right here one over there but everything else is pretty much on these trees um so here's the wall i mean just look at the kind of a windbreak we have here so with, this is the kind of winter housing you want you know you don't want no wind coming from the north some drafts to pester them and all so this is a uh, a pretty nice windbreak here And what we have here right now is these guys in the enclosure while we're working on enhancing their paddock. Yeah, we want to keep all these guys separate. We don't we want to give a chance at our other buck to mate with those does, but they've got lots of uh pine straw in here for bedding on the wooden floor, you know, which is cleaned frequently. They each got a nice water bucket. They've got some coastal hay. Uh, Big Boy here has a nice little hay feeder back there in the corner. <laughs> when we put that cattle panel back in there. And there's a little pine right there. I'm cutting a whole bunch more pine from some trees right here. That I cleared for part of my fence line clearing. And I'm going to machete those branches down right now. And put them through in here. And that helps to keep them all warm and comfy in here also. And they'll have green things to eat until we cut some other things for them and get them out on some excursions here. All right, I'm going to put a little more of this coastal out here. I got some finer uh, trimmings of the coastal hay here. Yeah, those are some skittish does, but before long they'll be eating from my hand. And they love the little buckling. 